Hello and welcome to this week's Building Endeavour video. So uh, everything's going according to plan, very happy the way things are looking right now. I went ahead and built a stand as well for it. Uh, it wasn't included in the kit, I just made that myself. Um, and I need to varnish that and then I need to make some sort of nameplate as well for that at some point. So we're going to now turn our attention to the breakwater. This is actually stamped, I don't know if you can see that on this piece of wood here. Um, they have to be pressed out, then they have to be curved into a nice profile which fits the shape of the gunwales at the fore end here. Uh, and then I have a, a rather arduous task of making a whole bunch of timber heads, uh, 34 small pieces that will go on this gunwale, on the gunwales here, and some stanchions, 24 of those, and the other timber heads, another 14 of those. And then the falconet stocks, which could, uh, will then eventually hold the uh, falconet small cannons that go on the side of the ship here. And then finally, two fish davits, which have to go here at the front. Um, so, let's start with that. Okay, so I'm going to soak these in water. These are then going to be layered like so. Uh, three at a time like this, one half and then the other, but they will have a, a curved profile once they've been soaked. Okay, so uh, I'll go ahead and soak those. Okay, so I've had those pieces soaking for about um, half an hour or so. They still seem fairly resistant to bending. Anyway, I'm going to give it a go. Uh, it recommends around a cylindrical object, so I've just got this glass here. I'm just going to form them round here. It recommends starting in the middle and then working away to the edge. Uh, so we'll see how we go. Okay, I've managed to get them bent. Um, these are so old though and dry that um, even though they've been soaking for a while, the glue has disintegrated a little bit and some of them have been begin to peel apart. No worries though, I can still glue all that and I can get it all to, uh, to still line up. So I'm kind of happy with that. And now the next step is to, die, uh, to glue these three layers together uh, and then of course the whole thing should strengthen up considerably. So we'll do that now. there but I've just temporarily clamped it to the uh, place it's going to actually see. It's not glued on there but it's just taken the shape of the gunwale at this point. Anyway I'll try the next one now. So while I'm waiting for those uh, breakwaters to dry, time to make 34 timber heads out of this 5x3. Need to mark them up first in 6mm sections. Okay, I've done the final marking out now of this uh, 5x3. Um, it's a 2mm space here, 2mm space and 6mm in length total. Uh, so this is one of the timber heads, as you can see, just up to this point. I've already had a bit of a practice with the knife, so I need to make 34 of these. Um, so off I go. Okay, so that's the timber heads all cut now. Uh, I just need to make 34 of them plus a few spares, and then uh, I will stain them with the um, walnut coloured wood stain. OK, 
okay we'll do that now and, oh, and to do that I'm going to use this uh, saw blade here it's just about the right size for me to do this with Okay, so I'm just going to let those uh, timber heads dry out now. I've made this little tray to do my painting in or wood, wood dyeing in. Um, so I'm going to turn my attention now to the breakwater. Um, these have uh, curved in a be beautifully in the right um, angle. Uh, they just need now to be sanded a little bit and then I'm going to stain these as well with the, uh, the wood dye. So uh, let's do that next. So now let's glue on the breakwaters. Okay, let's make the fish davits to 57 millimeter lengths. So next, I've marked out this 5x3 uh, and I have to make 34 of these. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for this week's video. I have another few of these to make that are slightly smaller, uh, 9mm lengths, but I'll do those off camera. These have to be stained, uh, like the fish davits here. I've bagged up the other um, timber heads for now, and uh, yeah, so in the future video we'll put them on the top of the gunwale, uh, the gunwheels there. Remember, if you do like these videos, please remember to subscribe and leave a comment, I'd like to read those if you've got any advice as well. So until the next video, bye for now. <laughs>